how's it going y'all we are in the process if you can believe it or not taking the engine out of the FDR 7 okay it's not bad stuff just upgrade we didn't blow anything up or break anything I want to put the LS1 and the T56 out of the RX-7 into the white 350Z and I have an LS3 which is chilling on that on my car trailer so I have that LS3 and that TR6060 that I wanted to put back into the FD RX-7 so I know there's a lot of people that don't really care for V8s or piston engines and RX-7s anyway so I did like a little challenge on some other social media stuff that if the video gets popular enough that I will actually put a 20B back in this thing, so we'll see how that goes. Y'all can comment on this video as well. If you think this thing deserves a rotary and want to show some love, do so. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that everybody wants you to do. But anyway, the reason I put an LS in this thing was when I bought this car, if you haven't seen the video, it was just a bare shell. Like, I'd have a body harness, I'd have engine transmission, differential, I'd have nothing. So the cost of rotary stuff I think the time a full swap was like 2500 bucks and like I said I offered the guy 3500 for this full swap and you know I got everything the wiring harness ECU transmission engine everything so it just didn't make sense because I, mean, I couldn't even afford this engine so it didn't make sense to buy an REW and spend you know what another 500 bucks getting a differential on axles and all that stuff to put a rotor back in it and then have to like rebuild it and buy a single turbo and a standalone and all that stuff it would have been it would have cost a fortune and i think i'm like counting the swap kit and everything i think i'm about six thousand dollars and getting the engine in this car and running so you know guys <laughs> i'm not rich that is under the cost of a 20b now see what i'm talking about see and you still got to buy a swap kit <laughs> and probably a T56 because I mean I don't think the FD transmission holds it that well but anyway that's not the point <laughs> yeah so I would love to see a 20B in this thing that was done and well sorted you know just done correctly but once again that cost, that's a lot of money I mean just the turbo alone and like it's like my wallet is already starting to cry so if these videos get popular enough to where I can actually afford to do that I would so Hopefully you guys will help me out. But yeah, so I just figured I would ask and see what you guys think. So if you had an RX-7, this is my white one. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the channel if you haven't. But yeah, if you had an RX-7, you know, what engine would you put in it? Would you suffer through and just stay with the rotary or like K20 maybe, LS? <laughs> it's not a bad choice for sure, I promise you. But yeah, just what, what do you guys think? What would you do? So, it's not gonna be a very long video. I just figured I would, uh, I would ask the world for help and see if you guys could uh, make something happen for me. So yeah, if you want to see a rotary in this thing, leave some comments, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll end this with some little clips and bits of uh, this thing getting built, and uh, we'll see how this works or if it works. But yeah, like always, guys, I want to thank you for watching sharing, subscribing, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you out there.